wanted to start a new series on this channel and I personally think this is going to be super helpful for a lot of you because it's going to be based off of your questions. So whether it be about hair extensions, the hot tools, um, anything off the website to your concerns or anything like that, then you can probably find the answers here. So um, hopefully this type of series is helpful for you. And um, this particular video is going to be um, focused on the shipping and the exchange policy. I'm not going to make this too long, so I went ahead and just broke this down into two different questions just so it's kind of easier to follow along. So we're just going to jump right in. The first question is, can you exchange or return extensions after they have been opened? So the only way that you can get a refund or exchange your extensions is if the larger section of your hair extension package is not open. So when you receive your package, it comes with two different sections. You have a larger section and then you have a smaller section. You wanna make sure you open that smaller section first because inside it comes with a smaller weft you can take out, you can hold it up to your hair. If you're happy with it, then you can open that bigger section. But if you're not happy with it, do not open that one because you can't send it back. So if you're you know not 100% satisfied with it, you can put it back in there and then ship it back and get a refund or exchange. But only if that larger section is not open. I also wanted to mention that for anyone that thinks they received a incomplete set, the actual sample piece that comes in that smaller section is part of your hair extension set. So um, I wanted to kind of make that clear. That's actually part of the hair extension set and it's usually a three clip weft. So moving on to the next question. Um, how do you get rid of the strong smell the extensions have straight from the package? Some of you have noticed kind of a funny odor to the extensions when you get them. Some of you smell it, some of you don't. And that's not because you're getting a bad set of extensions or they're damaged or anything like that. It's due to shipping. Actually, before they package your extensions to be shipped, they do apply treatments to the hair. So whether it be for hygienic reasons, to make the hair soft and silky, or depending on the shade of extensions you choose, you know, all that on the hair extensions. And then the hair extensions packaged into a tightly packaged plastic bag. You know, and then that being sealed really tight so no air can get in. And then depending on how long it takes to get to you, you know, a couple days, a week, or longer depending on where you live. You know, all that sitting in a really tight bag can kind of cause a funky smell. And that's what you're smelling. Some people smell it, some people don't. Some packages may be um, worse than others. But when you receive your hair extensions and you open it and if you have that funny smell, it's not permanent. All you have to do is wash your hair extensions. You can use your same shampoo and conditioner that you're using on your natural hair. I would definitely recommend using a conditioner after you shampoo them to make them very soft. Um, but it's an easy fix. All you have to do is wash your hair extensions. And I personally like to wash my new hair extensions when I get them. And for one, if they have an odor, then that will go away. And two, it just fluffs up the hair extensions and it makes them, I feel like, twice as fuller. So I love to wash mine as soon as I get them in. So yeah, I think that's actually going to be it for this video. I wanted to keep it very short and sweet and to the point. Hopefully I did answer some of your questions or concerns that some of you had. If you have a different concern or question, make sure you put them in the comments so we can answer them next time. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on new hair tutorials, hair tips and tricks. There's a little something for everyone. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to check it out. There will be a link down below if you're interested. I would love to hear from you over there. And yeah, if you like this new series and would like to hear it more often, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up because that would definitely help out a lot. And also let us know in the comments how you liked it. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and I will catch you in another video real soon.